Well, we did go down to the body corporate office to get a, a record of history, whatever you needed. And uh, this girl was saying, oh, who are you going with? And we said, oh, we've just been looking at Madeline and this one and that one. And she said, oh, you want to give Daniel a go, Daniel Hooper, because he sold our place. It was brilliant, you know, just ringing up at such and such. So we did, and we were just so impressed with him the moment he came in our house, and we thought, well, this is the one. We tried three before, so it was fourth time lucky. And uh, the more visits we had with you made us realise that we'd made a pretty good decision to stay with you. And we felt comfortable straight away. And you were very professional, but there was just something. When you left, I said, to Big, there's just something about him. I don't know what it is, but there's just something about him. And we figured out what that was pretty soon into our relationship. Oh, absolutely. Contact, even if it was just a text, and nothing much was happening at that stage until we had our the photo shoot. But um, there was contact all the time, so we knew exactly what was going, where we were going. Because you, you, you promised us that you'd keep close contact with us, uh, regular contact, and we found that that was exactly what we were getting from you. you know, constant, you know, two or three times a week updates on progress. Well, we didn't pass. It was pretty devastating, especially when the chap said it was going to cost fifty to one hundred thousand dollars to fix it. It was mm, pretty devastating, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. We we had occasions where we had damp got in, but you know you think it's coming through the window or, or so. But then we realised that it was um, more substantial entry of water. Uh, into the house and it was um, there's the besser block and then a few meters a few centimeters and then and then the steel framework for the for the um, plasterboard and uh, it was the, the more we looked the more we realized that it was quite uh, impossible to hide we had to uh, attend to it if we wanted to sell And that's where you lived up to your reputation and the fact that you you went off that night and did research and came back tomorrow with a solution. Well, that was just like winning lotto. First of all, you went down and checked on the insurance and all of this, you know, what agent, other agent would do that? They'd probably say, well, see you later, sorry. That's, that's your only option, but you searched for us. And then within two, three days, the wet fix people were here gave us a quote, which was much more attractive than $50,000. But then, when you told us we had to pull the walls down, <laughs> well, Greg and I got at it. It was very therapeutic, actually, throwing a hammer, pulling the walls off, but it was a massive job. But, and when we pulled that off, we could see the damage, where it was all mould and whatnot, and how long that had been happening for. Who knows? We've been here 21 years, so. But uh, you got the ball rolling, and got the guys coming to give us the quotes and before you know it, it was happening. Even though it took a while because of the industry, everything was, you know, couldn't get a tradesman anywhere. But And the people that you did get were absolutely fantastic. They were excellent in the quality of the work. And we go down there and now look at it and think, oh, I can't believe two months ago what it looked like. But it was brilliant. You were just our saviour. And like that sure. repair, um, now, uh, 22 years after the place has been built, 24 years since it's been built, that area that's been repaired is just like a new house. You know, so, so it's good, a good repair, and they've convinced us that uh, that the repair is um, effective. We we like that idea. <laughs> well, if we hadn't have found that guy, I don't know what we would have done. We would have. Well, if you hadn't offended, we would have. Yeah. Well, I just don't like to think about it. Just. But it all worked out and here you are, you've sold the house and in two weeks time we'll be leaving. So it's, all, it's all good. Well, we talked about that this morning and um, I don't think they would because time is money 
and you were so committed to us and that's what I felt about you in the very beginning and you care you know it's the biggest thing and you stuck with us and you got the job done so and um, uh, your knowledge of the tradesmen that we that we secured um, uh, you obviously knew their quality of work and it came out that way Well, I think no matter what the property's like, you still give you 100% and we'll get the best price for those people. Even if it's an old shack, you'll still give them the same time and effort as you would if someone had a $2 million property to sell. So you're genuine and you care, and I think that's very important.